talk about it later. It identifies how prevention fits within existing health services. So prevention isn't an add-on. It's not something that should be laboriously hard. It should be integrated into the fabric of what you do. Prevention should be core business. Prevention should be standard language. So what is it that makes CTC so good in terms of prevention? Why is it successful? Well, as we've heard earlier on today, it's founded in research. It's founded in evidence. It's founded in science. John talked about this notion of prevention science. We need to be social and prevention scientists. We need to make decisions based on evidence. <clears throat> so it's also adaptable to the needs of the community. So it's not saying, well, there's something that's worked in the States, let's, let's helicopter drop that into Warrnambool and it'll work. No, we'll make the decisions based on the data and the needs and the resources of Warrnambool. What do we need to do for Warrnambool? But using the framework and the concepts that CTC provides, using the operating system. I can use the Apple iPhone in Australia, I can use the Apple iPhone with an operating system in the US. It's the operating system that we're providing you to make the decisions. <coughs> it engages all areas of the community. So when I said all the stakeholders are involved, law, education, health, all those people work together to work together to get a common vision and work strategically to work on the evidence and the risk factors that you can identify. Provides communities local data, set priorities and focus resources. <coughs> Address the root problem. So prevention is about the root problem. It's not about treatment. It's not fishing people out of the water. It's what's causing people to fall in the water. So do we need to build a bridge? Do we need to build a fence along the, on the river to stop them falling in? Simple solution that will save us lots of money and time and put the kids on better trajectories. <coughs> it focuses on always using programs that have been shown to work. So one of the lines I like to use when I'm talking about CTC in communities it's great to see people that are inspired and interested in the wealth and welfare of their, their children. <coughs> so there's a lot of good ideas, a lot of goodwill. But that's not enough. That is not what drives CDC. We need good goodwill and we need good ideas, but what we need is good practice and good science and good evidence. And the goodwill can help and support that. But the goodwill is not what drives it. Good science, good evidence and good practice. If you do that and build on the passion and the commitment already existing in your community, CTC will marry beautifully. It empowers you to build prevention capacity. So in the long term, what we're doing is making sure that prevention becomes core business for you. 